Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of biohacking. No, it's not some crazy sci-fi movie plot. Biohacking is the idea of using technology and science to improve our bodies and minds. We're talking about boosting your energy, sharpening your focus, and maybe even living longer. Sounds pretty cool, right? But can it work? Let's find out. What is biohacking? Imagine hacking a computer, but instead of the system, it's your own body. That's the essence of biohacking. People are using everything from fancy apps that track sleep cycles to light therapy gadgets that claim to improve mood. There's even biohacking with food. Think of personalized nutrition plans based on your DNA. At its core, biohacking aims to optimize human potential, whether it be improving physical performance, cognitive function, or overall well-being. However, the ethical and societal implications of biohacking are complex and multifaceted, raising questions about safety, equity, and the very nature of what it means to be human. The Landscape of Biohacking Biohacking encompasses a diverse array of practices, each with its own goals and methodologies. One common form of biohacking involves using wearable devices and smartphone apps to track various aspects of health and fitness, such as heart rate, sleep patterns, and calorie intake. These tools provide users with valuable data that can inform lifestyle choices and help optimize performance. Now you don't need a high-tech lab to be a biohacker. Here are some beginner hacks you can try at home. Sleep tracking. We all know sleep is important, but did you know tracking your sleep cycles with a smartwatch can help you optimize your rest? Light therapy. Feeling sluggish in winter? Light therapy lamps mimic natural sunlight, potentially boosting mood and energy levels. Mindfulness meditation. This age-old practice can be a powerful biohack. Meditation has been shown to reduce stress, improve focus, and even enhance cognitive function. The cutting edge of biohacking. But biohacking goes beyond these basic tricks. Some folks are exploring more extreme options. Nootropics. Nootropics, also known as smart drugs or cognitive enhancers, are natural and synthetic substances that are purported to improve cognitive function, enhance memory, boost creativity, and increase focus and motivation. Nootropics can include a wide range of substances, such as vitamins, minerals, herbs, amino acids, and synthetic compounds. While some nootropics have been studied extensively and shown promising results in improving cognitive function, others lack robust scientific evidence to support their efficacy and safety. Additionally, the effects of nootropics can vary depending on individual factors such as genetics, metabolism, and overall health. Intermittent Fasting this involves cycling between periods of eating and fasting. Studies suggest it can improve metabolic health and longevity, but it's not for everyone. Wearable Tech Implants Imagine a tiny chip under your skin that tracks your health data 24 7 That's the idea behind biohacking implants, although this is a very new and controversial area. These implants typically utilize sensors, microchips, and wireless connectivity to collect data, provide feedback, or interface with external devices. Some individuals choose to implant technology into their bodies as a form of biohacking, seeking to enhance their physical capabilities or sensory perception. For example, RFID, radio frequency identification implants can be used for access control, payment systems, or personal identification. Magnet implants can enable individuals to sense magnetic fields or interact with electronic devices through touch. The potential and the risks. Biohacking has the potential to revolutionize healthcare. Imagine personalized treatments based on your unique biology. But there are also risks. Some biohacks haven't been thoroughly studied and some technologies might have unintended consequences. Plus, there's always the danger of people pushing their bodies beyond safe limits. Will the quest for perfection erode our sense of humanity and diversity? Or will it lead to a more enlightened and liberated society? Biohacking represents a bold frontier in the ongoing quest to enhance human potential. The possibilities are both exhilarating and daunting. Yet, as we venture into this uncharted territory, we must proceed with caution, mindful of the ethical, societal, and existential implications of our actions. What are your thoughts on biohacking? Share your experiences or questions in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more cutting-edge content on health and wellness.